Welcome back to my home in the Maine woods. Today I am going to be wandering around and looking for wildlife. I just heard something. <laughs> I know this is kind of risky because wildlife does not cooperate. I cannot guarantee that we will see anything today. Usually when I'm looking for something specific, I do not find it. And um, so what we're gonna do is just take what we can get. I can guarantee a few birds here and there because um, I've been seeing a lot around my yard. Usually I'd bring my dog Oreo outside with me to enjoy this nice weather, but um, I'm gonna leave him inside for now so that we have a better chance of seeing wildlife and then I will bring him out later to play. All right, I've got my long camera lens with me so that I can photograph, if not video, some of these animals from an appropriate social distance. And um, yeah, let's see what we can find. These are dark-eyed juncos. I see them year-round at my house. They visit the bird feeder a lot in the winter. It's a sparrow that likes coniferous or mixed coniferous forests. They like seeds and they're ground nesters. One pair actually nested in my backyard last year. Harry Woodpecker. He looks confused. And here's an up-close shot of a Harry Woodpecker. This one's a female because it doesn't have any red on its head. Here are two morning doves, a common sight around my house. Here we have a black-capped chickadee, the main state bird, possibly excavating a cavity to build a nest in. Here we have a pileated woodpecker, which is Maine's largest woodpecker, about the size of a crow. This one's a male because it's got a red streak on its cheek. A chipmunk. He was yelling at me, so I photographed him. This is not an animal, but it's a pretty reishi mushroom, which people use in medicinal teas and whatnot. It's even been called the mushroom of immortality. It grows on hemlock trees. Here are a few photos of birds that I didn't manage to capture on video, which is a little bit more difficult to do. This is an eastern Phoebe, which moved into my yard a couple of weeks ago and seems to be looking for a place for a nest. This is an American robin, a pretty common sight in my yard right now looking for worms, but runs away whenever it sees me. Here's a close-up of the morning doves. They're a great example of common birds that are actually quite pretty if you see them up close. And this is my favorite photo that I took. It's a pileated woodpecker that's drumming on a birch log. So it started to sprinkle, so I said come home and let Oreo out um, so that he can play before it really starts to rain. But I thought I would end this video with a crazy story. Um, actually, it starts about three days ago. Derek and I, we were walking around in the forest near our house, and we were following the sound of a woodpecker, and I was telling him, oh, it'd be so cool if this was a yellow-bellied sapsucker. Um, it's a type of woodpecker, and it's got yellow belly. <laughs> um, it's really pretty. But I was telling Derek about how I'd only taken a picture of that bird once before and it was a long time ago, I hadn't seen one in a while, and I'd love to see one. And then I was pointing out uh, the little holes that it drills in trees. Um, again, a nature lesson that Derek did not ask for. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I went on and on about this, and we didn't see one that day. And then yesterday, I was sitting at my at-home office, and I was typing away at my desk, and there's two big windows, and I turned for some reason to look out the side window and this big bird flew straight at me and hit the window and fell down. When the bird hit, I saw this poof of uh, light yellow feathers. And so I got up right away to see if the bird was okay. And I looked down and the bird flew up into a tree nearby and just perched there clinging to the bark on the side. And um, it was a yellow-bellied sapsucker. I felt really weird about that. <laughs> so a few minutes later, I think it was kind of like recovering its senses and then it, I saw it fly off to another tree and climb up it and stuff. So I think it was okay. Um, plus I think it just hit its chest, not its head or anything. But um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it was a really weird coincidence. I've never seen one around our house, though I'm sure they've been around our house plenty. Um, and yeah, I didn't know how to take it. I think if the bird had died or been injured, I would have felt like I was cursed. But being that it was fine, 
I guess I feel okay about it. <laughs> Maybe I'm lucky. Um, but uh, also made me think, why is the bird flying into the window and maybe I need to do something to deflect the bird from doing something like that? I don't know why it flew at me. Um, there was no bird feeder near the window, so yeah. <laughs> Crazy story. Thanks for joining me today and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Where's your collar? He's... What are you naked for?